When it came to Roger's final Bond outing, A View to a Kill, many people, including himself, felt that at 56 he was possibly past his best. And age wasn't the only difficult thing he had to contend with. There was another problem, in the shape of a rather tricky co-star, Grace Jones. I'm afraid my diplomatic charm was stretched to the limit with Grace. Every day in her dressing room, which was adjacent to mine, she played very loud music. One day I snapped. I marched into her room, pulled the plug out, and then went back to my room, picked up a chair, and flung it at the wall. The dent is still there. On December the 3rd, 1985, 12 years after Live and Let Die, Roger announced that he was retiring as James Bond. The end of an era. He was then 58 and said at the prospect of more bullets and bombs and girls half his age, he was starting to get a bit daft. I was beginning to 